let us understand anatomy of e-commerce applications that is nothing but organization of e-commerce applications this anatomy of e-commerce applications consists of four major components first one it is multimedia content for e-commerce applications and second one is multimedia storage servers and e-commerce applications this second component consists of three sub components first one it is client server architecture in e-commerce next one it is internal processes of multimedia servers and third one is video servers and e-commerce and third major component is information delivery and e-commerce applications and last one it is user access devices so in this way the anatomy that is organization of e-commerce applications consists of four major components and there are three sub components and the second component that is multimedia storage servers and e-commerce applications now let us understand all these components one by one first one it is multi multimedia content for e-commerce applications what does it mean multimedia multimedia is nothing but a combination of different types or different form uh, different forms of content like text or images or audios or videos or numerical data that is a tabular data or graphical representation of a data so these are all the things put together it is known as multimedia so multimedia is nothing but a combination of different forms or different types of content and customers require better hardware in order to access such multimedia content that is a systems with very good configuration and excellent internet connectivity are required in order to access such multimedia content now let us proceed to second major component that is the multimedia storage servers and e-commerce applications the very important point that is to be understood here is millions of customers from all corners of the globe access the multimedia content that to simultaneously so all over the world customers may be there and all such customers may try to access the uh, multimedia content simultaneously thus large scale distribution capabilities are required with security and reliability so the main concept here is multimedia is there and millions of people are trying to access the multimedia content that to simultaneously so certainly it requires a large scale distribution capabilities and at the same time the data must be delivered securely and reliably that is the reason why the multimedia content is stored in robust servers and this second major component consists of three sub components now let us look at the first one that is the client server architecture in e-commerce the multimedia content as we understood already it is stored in robust servers and customers from all corners of the globe across the globe can access this data that to simultaneously so if we see here in this picture there is a server maybe in, in one of the centralized locations with the multimedia content and people from all corners of the globe are trying to access the multimedia content so this is what is known as a client server architecture in e-commerce now let us proceed to second major component that is internal processes of multimedia servers the multimedia servers should handle and uh, should respond to the requests of millions of customers simultaneously so in the earlier uh, uh, slide we understood that millions of customers across the globe try to access the multimedia content that to do simultaneously so the multimedia servers should handle and uh, 
respond to the requests of uh, millions of customers uh, that are too simultaneously. Further, uh, the multimedia storage servers should provide uh, different types of facilities like storing the multimedia uh, content. That is, whenever new multimedia content comes, it, the multimedia storage server is in a position to uh, store such content. Similarly, existing uh, content uh, maybe uh, old content can be deleted. Similarly, the multimedia content may be uh, moved from one location to another location. So these are all the things that is nothing but managing the multimedia content. So these are all the things must be uh, possible. Similarly, when required, the multimedia content must be retrievable. So these are all the things that come under internal processes of uh, multimedia servers. So one side, millions of people uh, try to access the data. So uh, the servers should respond to the requests of uh, millions of customers simultaneously. Similarly, uh, new data uh, must be uh, store, stored and existing old data if required uh, can be deleted and similarly the existing content must be retrievable and if required the multimedia content can be moved to different locations in the server. So that is about a second subcomponent that is internal processes of multimedia servers. Now let us understand the third subcomponent really very important one that is video servers and e-commerce. There are e-commerce applications that are used for audio and video conferencing. Please recollect the recent pandemic situation when uh, we all uh, attended online classes. Okay, using the applications like Microsoft Zoom or Google Meet. Here, uh, there is one example. So there is one uh, Zoom server or uh, Google Meet server to which uh, the presenter, uh, let us say in our case, the teacher or lecturer is connected to Zoom server or uh, Google Meet server to the same server, all the participants, that is all the students are also connected. So it is the audio video conferencing that is video servers which are providing an interface uh, among all of us that is uh, uh, in between the presenter and all the uh, participants not only that these uh, multimedia storage servers uh, uh, especially the applications like uh, geo information systems so popularly known as uh, gis stands for uh, geo information systems they require very huge storage uh, uh, capabilities and also navigation facilities. Similarly, that there are uh, service providers like video on demand. Some people call it as video on demand service providers. Some people call it as movie on demand service providers uh, like Amazon Prime or G Prime or uh, AHA platform in, in India or uh, similarly Tata Sky. All these people come under video on demand service providers are also known as movie on demand service providers. And all these people require certainly very huge storage facilities. And here if we see not only videos but also games are also provided by such kind of a video that is a DTH service providers. So DTH service providers not only provide videos but also provide different varieties of games also. So all these videos and all these games are brought to the customers by DTH service providers like Tata Sky or Amazon Prime or maybe AHA platform. So these are all the people uh, online um, um, uh, platform people uh, who owns the video servers uh, which consists of uh, video content and also wide varieties of uh, games that can be played online and the customers across the globe 
can select the required video or can select the uh, required game and they can play the game online using uh, this one that is known as a, a program selection interface so the customers can choose the required game or required video using what is known as a program selection interface so the ddh service providers own video servers which store videos and games and which are brought to us by dth service providers and customers across the globe can access such uh, multimedia content that is videos or games using program selection interface that is available on our remote controls television remote controls and based on the movie uh, that we watched or based on the video that we watched or based on the game that we played the billing amount is calculated and finally that billing amount uh, details are stored back in video servers so in this way video servers really play very very important role so that is about a second major component that is the multimedia storage servers and e-commerce applications now let us move on to the third major component that is information delivery and e-commerce applications so the multimedia content is to be delivered to the customers uh, who uh, uh, reside in different locations across the globe to whom the multimedia content is to be delivered for this people can make use of that is the service providers may uh, uh, deliver the uh, multimedia content using wired connectivity or wireless uh, connectivity in case of uh, wired connectivity they may make use of uh, cable uh, tv uh, cables that is uh, coaxial cables or telephone cables or the latest one that is optical fiber cables so these are all the things that come under uh, wired connectivity and when it comes to wireless connectivity uh, cellular technologies or radio networks or satellite networks these are all the uh, things that come under wireless connectivity so the multimedia content reach the customers uh, either through wired connectivity or through wireless uh, connectivity and the very last component major component it is consumer access devices this one specifies or this one tells us what are all the devices that the consumers may make use of in order to access the multimedia content so in order to uh, view or in order to access the multimedia content consumers may uh, may make use of a different uh, varieties wide varieties of devices uh, some people may make use of uh, mobile phones and some people may make use of laptops and some people may make use of uh, television sets with uh, uh, set top uh, boxes so in this way people may make use of uh, wide varieties of uh, uh, devices in order to access the multimedia content now let us understand the summary of anatomy of e-commerce applications so it is divided into four major components first one it is the multimedia content for e-commerce applications where we understood that multimedia is nothing but different forms wide varieties of data like text images audios videos tabular data or uh, graphical representation of uh, data so these are all the things that are forming what is known as multimedia content and where do we store such multimedia content the multimedia is that is multimedia content is stored in different i mean servers and this second component is divided into three sub components first one it is a client server architecture in e-commerce where we understood that multimedia content is stored in servers and people across the globe who are known as clients who are known as clients who can access the content that is stored in servers that is the reason why it is called as client server architecture then comes what are all the internal processes that happen in case of multimedia servers 
internal activities like because millions of people try to access the multimedia content so the servers must be so robust so that they can respond to the requests of clients that to in a real time simultaneously and at the same time the multimedia content can be new multimedia content can be added the existing multimedia content can be deleted and the content can be moved from one location to another location so these are all the things that happen in case of internal processes of multimedia servers then comes video servers really very very important one where the video is stored in one server and people all across the globe can access the multimedia content similarly video servers include audio and video conferencing uh, servers also like microsoft zoom server or google meet server to which and uh, not only presenters but also all the participants so that is the teacher and students or presenter and participants so all these people connect to the uh, video servers in order to have such uh, wonderful audio and video in uh, uh, conferencing facilities Similarly, video on demand facilities or uh, movie on demand facilities or online games, those things also come under this component that is the video servers and people uh, across the globe can uh, access such movie on demand, uh, can make use of such movie on demand or video on demand facility or they may even play the online games and accordingly the bill amount is calculated and that also is stored back in the video server and third major component is information delivery and e-commerce applications how the multimedia content is delivered to the customers there are two ways one is wired connectivity and another is wireless connectivity in case of wired connectivity, uh, people may make use of uh, telephone cables or coaxial cables uh, or also optical fiber cables. Of course, uh, optical fiber cables uh, provide very high speed data transfer rates. And when it comes to wireless connectivity, people may make use of radio networks or uh, satellite connections or cellular technologies so these are all the things with which the information is that is multimedia content is delivered to the customers and very last one that is user access devices that is what are all the devices people make use of in order to access the multimedia content People may make use of a wide varieties of devices right from mobiles or laptops or desktops. Of course, in case of desktops, audio and video facilities are required. And similarly, people may even make use of television sets with set-top boxes. So these are all the devices with which people can access the multimedia content. So that is about anatomy of e-commerce applications.